Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about discrete random variable and some functions associated with it. We have already told a random variable is a real valued function which is defined over a sample space. And it could be either discrete or continuous depending on the values this random variable x takes. So, uh, we have some functions which is related to random variables. So, the first one is a probability mass function and the other one is a distribution function. So, coming to what is a probability mass function, so let x be a discrete random variable which can take the values x1, x2, etc. And let f of x which denotes the probability of capital X taking the value small x, then this f of x is called a probability mass function of x. So, f of x is equal to probability of capital X is equal to small x is the probability mass function of x. The values of x and the corresponding probabilities are set to define the probability distribution of x. That means the values of x, the values this x is taking or the possible values of x and their corresponding probabilities defines the probability distribution of x. So, this probability mass function along with this x gives the probability distribution of this random variable x. So, now we shall move on to an example for this probability mass function for which we are considering two unbiased dice. So, we roll two unbiased dice. So, since it is unbiased dice, the possible values on the both the dice could be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, etc. up to 6, 5, 6, 6, etc. So, the sample space will be this where the sample space has 1, 1 where both the dice shows 1 and 1, the face 1 and 1 and the last value could be 6, 6 where uh, both the dice are so showing the value 6 and 6. So, uh, we define this random variable x to be the sum of numbers take shown on the dice. So, uh, we know the possible outcomes are 1, 1, 1, 2, etc. up to 6, 6. So, x be the sum of the numbers shown on the dice. Therefore, x takes values 2, 3, 4, etc. up to 12, isn't it? Because 1 plus 1 will give us 2, 1 plus 2 will give us 3, then uh, 2 plus 1 also will give us 3. So, uh, the possible values x takes us 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. up to 12. Now, uh, for example, if we are going to consider what is the probability corresponding to x is equal to 4. So, we know x takes values from 2 to 12. So, what is the event or what is the uh, value corresponding to x is equal to 4? So, we will get x is equal to 4 in these three cases or in these three events of this sample space where the first die is showing a 2 and the second die is also showing a 2. So, in that case, the sum of those will be 4. The next one is 3 and 1 and the next one is 1 and 3. So, this is the three cases available to us which contributes for x is equal to 4. So, if we are going to consider the probability of x is equal to 4, that is probability of 4 I have written here, so, the corresponding events are probability of E. So, the corresponding events has probabilities. Getting a 2, 2 out of this sample space is 1 by 36. Getting a 3, 1 is also 1 by 36. And getting a 1, 3 is also 1 by 36. So, getting a value or getting a value x, uh, sorry, value 4 for this x is 1 by 12. Similarly, uh, the chance of getting x if probability of x is equal to 2 will be what the 2 will be there will be only one case that is 1 and 1 so if it is 1 1 then we will get x as 2 so in that case that will be 1 by 36 the probability value will be 1 by 36 so we will get the corresponding uh, distribution as in this way this is the probability distribution where corresponding to each of these Values, each of these values that x takes, that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 10, 11, and 12, we have their corresponding probabilities. 
for which uh, corresponding to 4 we have 3 by 36 which is 1 by 12 for uh, 2 we have 1 by 36 for 3 we will have uh, events 1 2 and 2 1 for this 12 we will have event 6 6 so in that case uh, we can consider this x and probability of capital x is equal to small x that is f of x so this is how we are uh, we can calculate the probability mass function now uh, we shall see what is a distribution function the probability of capital x less than or equal to small x is defined as a distribution function of x so the probability mass function was defined as probability of capital x is equal to is equal to small x here we are going to consider the probability of capital x less than or equal to small x so there is only a small change but that contributes to the difference so the probability of capital x less than or equal to small x is called the distribution function of x which is denoted by capital f of x so the probability mass function was denoted by small f of x and this is a point function and it can be obtained from the PMF that is from the probability mass function that is capital F of x is equal to summation t less than or equal to x f of t. So this is how we can find the distribution function. So it is like a cumulative sum of these probability mass functions or probabilities. Now we shall see uh, an example for the distribution function. So let an unbiased die be ruled. Let x be the number shown by the die. So the possible values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we know uh, this is an unbiased die. So probability of getting each of these faces is 1 by 6. Now uh, we have to compute the distribution function. We have to find the distribution function. So the distribution function is defined as probability of capital X less than or equal to small x and uh, x can take its values from 1 to 6. So if x takes a value less than 1 then there is no event in the sample space isn't it from 1 to 6. So x less than a 1 means there is no value x less than 1 means it must be a 0 or something like that. So, there is no such event, so therefore that probability is 0. In the next case, the x takes the value 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. So, the range of x is from 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2. So, it could be 1, 1 1.5, 1 1.25, 1.75 or something like 1.9. So, the event corresponding to that will be probability of x less than or equal to that value. Suppose if I am going to take 1.5 from this interval, 1 less than or equal to x less than 2, if I am going to take this x to be 1.5, I have to compute probability of x less than or equal to 1.5. So there is only one value in this sample space that corresponds to that, that is 1, event 1, that is the die showing a phase 1. So the probability is 1 by 6. The next one is uh, 2 less than or equal to x less than 3 and if I am going to take this x to be 2.75 if I am going to take this value of x in the third case to be 2.75. So suppose uh, x is 2.75 then probability of capital X less than or equal to 2.75 has two events that is 1 and 2. So 1 by 6 its probability will be 1 by 6 corresponding to this number 1 and 1 by 6 corresponding to this number 2. So it will be cumulative as a cumulative sum so 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 will give us 2 by 6. In a similar manner when x, when x is greater than or equal to 6 we will have probability of capital X less than or equal to 6 and in that case we will have all those events 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and therefore that probability value will be 1. So now we shall see what are some of the properties of these uh, probability mass function and distribution function. So coming to what are the probability properties of the probability mass function, the first one is probability of X 
p of x is greater than or equal to 0. We know uh, this p of x or f of x is a probability mass function and that is our probabilities, that are probabilities of some events. Therefore, it must be greater than or equal to 0. It cannot take a negative value. Now, uh, the next property is that summation p of x is equal to 1. That means, since it is certain that x takes, the capital X, that is a random variable, takes only values in its range of variation. It can only take values in its range of variation. So, the summing of all those probability will uh, result into a 1. So, sum of p of x will be 1. Now, the next, next property is that probability of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b can be uh, like summarized as a sum of uh, those values, sum of those probabilities of a less than corresponding to a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b. So, these are the three properties for the probability mass function which we can use in a lot of problems where uh, we can check whether a given function is a probability mass function. If it violates any of these properties, then we can say this uh, the given function is not a probability mass function. So, these are the properties that a probability mass function satisfies. Now, coming to the properties of a distribution function, we know f of x is denoted, uh, the distribution is function is denoted by capital F of x and uh, f of x can be written as the cumulative sum of the probabilities. So, the PMF, the PMF itself is greater than or equal, greater than or equal to 0 since they are properties, so sorry, since they are probabilities, therefore capital F of x also takes values greater than or equal to 0. Now, uh, f of x is a non-decreasing value, that is, uh, if f of x, uh, if x is greater than or equal to y, then f of x must surely be greater than or equal to f of y. So, it is greater than or equal to, it could be equal, but uh, it cannot be a decreasing value. So, it could not be a value that is less than f of y. Uh, f of y cannot be a value which is less than f of x, if x is greater than or equal to y. Now, the next one is f of x is a right continuous function. Uh, all of you might be familiar with what is right continuous, what is left continuous and what is continuous. So, f of x is a right continuous function that is f of x plus 0 is equal to f of x. So, it is a limiting case, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, now uh, while calculating the distribution function for the example, we had seen for probability of x less than or equal to 0, that value of f of x was 0 and for that value probability of x greater than or equal to 6, uh, that value was 1. So, uh, f of a equal to 0, if a is any value less than the lowest value of the available sample space or available events, that is x, and f of b is equal to 1, if uh, it is any value that is greater than the available values in x. Therefore, from this we can say f of minus infinity is 0 and f of plus infinity is 1, because uh, minus infinity will be any value that is not in this uh, set and plus infinity also may not belong to this set. Therefore, in both those extremes, f of minus infinity is 0 and f of plus infinity is 1. So, uh, using all these properties and directly from the distribution, uh, sorry, from the definition of the distribution function, uh, we can say probability of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b can be written as f of b minus f of a. Similarly, uh, we can also write uh, this because it is a right continuous function, it is a step function. So, f of xi plus 1 minus f of xi is probability of xi plus 1. Why? Because f of, f of x, this distribution function uh, can be found using the PMF, the cumulative sum of PMF. So, uh, f of xi plus 1 minus f of xi will be just that probability, that is probability of xi plus 1. I hope this video was useful. We have discussed about a discrete random variable, its PMF, its, PD, uh, its distribution function and some of its properties and some examples. Thank you.